Okay, welcome back everybody. I uh, believe we're up to video 20, the big 2-0. And uh, probably by the time you see this, I will have hit 200 subscribers. Thank you. Um, I'm going to warn you guys right up front. Uh, this will be a long video. I usually like to stay about two or three videos ahead of what I have just posted but I've had uh, a little setback here and it's been about two weeks since I, I, I filmed my last video so uh, I've got a lot to show in this one and uh, so it's going to be rather long but you don't have to watch the whole thing all at one time you know just watch what you want click off come back to it later and watch the rest of it now uh, I will also tell you this, the videos are going to be a, a little longer in posting. I was posting a video about every four or five days. And I'm getting to the point now where it's probably going to be once a week. Um, like I said, I, I'm pretty much caught up with the videos. Probably by the time this one comes out, I will have another one ready to go. But... Uh, I ran into a little setback and, and it's taken me a couple weeks here to get this straightened out and uh, and it's not complete I, I, I've got some stuff to do it has to do with the painting of the ship yeah I ran into a problem but uh, so uh, just to let you know that if you don't see me every four or five days it's because it's taken a little bit longer now to do things and and to produce a video. All right. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to start this video out showing you some of the things I had to order for this ship, and then we'll get into the ship itself and what I've been doing for the past two weeks. So let me get the camera turned around and zoom in a little bit and show you what I've been, uh, what I've got ordered. All right. So uh, hang in there. Like I said, if you don't want to watch this whole thing all at one time, because I got the feeling it's going to be well over 30 minutes. So, and, and I hate splitting up my videos when I've got things that run together and pertain to each other. So, here we go. Okay. So, the first thing I want to show you is my flag. Uh, if you remember in one of the first videos, I talked about I, I wasn't happy with their flag. It had a little bit too much orange in the color. So I ordered another flag and I will put that down on the bottom right down here okay and uh, where I got it from and, I, and let me show you the difference. This is the flag right here that came with the ship okay and it's probably not showing up real good on the camera but there's a little bit too much orange in it. This is the flag I got from over in England, model sh ship flags or whatever, whatever that website is I gave you. Uh, it's a it's a much deeper red, and the background is more white. This is a cream colored white background on the one that gave you. And if you look real close, look at the shape of the leaf. This is way off. The one from uh, model shipways, the shape of the leaf is way off of what the real flag looks like. This is more accurate. Almost 100% accurate. So I'm going with this flag here I bought. It looks a little bit uh, smaller but on the uh, Model Expo one you're supposed to fold this around and uh, attach it. This one here you have to cut out. They're both made out of uh, a material, some type of cotton or something which is screen printed with the flag on it. Alright, so that's the first thing. I'm going with this flag here. That place over in England, they have got a lot of flags. Alright, so for my deck furniture, all the little cabins and stuff, I ordered a bunch of uh, walnut. Okay, uh, and I had to order from two different places. And neither place had 1 16th by 1 16th they were both out of it seems to be the most popular 
and you can't get it. Uh, so I, I, I've ordered a bunch of, of walnut. This here is from Model Shipways and this here is from Age of Sales. Alright, so I can do my cabins and, and things like that that go on the deck. Also ordered from Model Shipways my little portholes. Okay, little brass portholes. And a bunch of extra dead eyes. Because I said I was not going to go with them uh, triangular shaped dead eyes that they give you. Uh, I, I don't want to get into that. It was, it was in one of my other videos. So I got some extra dead eyes. Also from Major Sales, I ordered a bell. Model Shipways does not give you a bell. So I ordered a bell. That's a nice little bell too. It's 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 out of brass. It is it is well crafted. And then I ordered these little things that go around the main mast and the uh, foremast at the bottom. Okay, I don't know what they're called, skirts or something like that. But you stick your mast down in there where it goes onto the deck. Now this one here, I had to take and uh, file it down pretty much because here's the part that surrounds the main mast and it wouldn't fit in here as, as it came it was too big I couldn't get it in there so I had to file down the outer ring so I could get that in there more so it will uh, allow me to get these parts together around that mast like that alright So that's just uh, some of the stuff I ordered. I, I went out and got me some pinstripe. Automotive pinstripe. Now this is going to be from my white stripe down the side of the ship. And what I bought was white and it's like this right here. An eighth and a sixteenth. They come on the same roll. An eighth and a sixteenth. Not sure which one I will be using leaning more towards the eighth but I'm not sure yet so it comes on a roll like that that you can pinstripe an auto, automotive car with and uh, it's a, got a much better adhesion to it than just regular white tape okay now you can see here I've been playing around putting together some of these laser cut parts for the ship this little thing here. Alright. I had to drill some holes in it for the belay pins. And this little thing here that goes in front of it. Now let me tell you. Here's where your walnut comes in real nice. I had to make like these little cleats. Right here on the side of it. Little cleats right there. And I was using the... Uh, the wood that came with the ship and it kept splitting so I took a piece of this walnut and since that's being a hardwood it was easy to cut it and shape it without splitting it so that's how I made them two little things that go on the side there alright so I got that made and I made this little thing here got one of them boom things that come up through the center of it made this here this goes up in the front where all your winches are and then I started messing with the winches alright and here is one of them now you can see from this I put a bunch of wood on here like they suggest all around this end and then I put some wire over here I epoxied all this stuff on. Alright. And that's what I came up with. Now, I was uh, going to assemble some more of this and I wound up missing a part. So once again I had to get a hold of uh, Model Shipways and you gotta email them is what you gotta do. Tell them what the part number is and everything and hopefully it's on the way. So I was short one of these casting parts for some of my winch stuff. Okay, now, 
Let me show you what I've been doing here. Move this all out of the way. I've been messing around with the cab and, and all the uh, little deck furniture and stuff that goes on. And what I've been doing is, I might have told you, I'm a stamp collector. And I get these pieces of cardboard that come in a pack with stamps in a package. Okay? So I've been cutting this stuff out, and I've been making my deck furniture out of this stuff. Just to give me an idea of scale and where this stuff's going to go on the ship and how it fits. Alright? Here's the little forward hatchway right there. There's the main cabin. Here's the little skylight that goes on top of it. And here's the steering box. Now I did this, like I said, just to get some sense of scale and, uh, and what this is going to look like. And let me tell you, this is some small stuff. <laughs> there will not be but one board probably right there on the side of this skylight. And if you look at the plans, they show you having three and four boards there for uh, trim and everything. But I just wanted to do this to give me some kind of idea of how I'm going to put this all together. Now let me tell you something here. You could actually, I'm not going to do it, but if somebody really wanted to, you could scale this down just a little bit smaller. How, whatever the thickness of your wood is going to be, you take that thickness and scale it down by that much. And you could actually take and just cover this with your wood strips. Just like that. Get all your wood strips glued on there and set it down on there. That's not a bad idea. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use these as a pattern and lay them out and make them. Now I will put a little arch in my uh, the roof here of this cabin. Not very much, just a slight arch so water will run off or whatever. I, I, I believe it, it is shaped like that. So I will be using some cardboard when it comes time to build mine as an interior uh, framework to lay them boards on so they can follow a small arch. But that wouldn't be a bad idea for somebody if they wanted to make these just a little bit smaller and you could start just gluing on your wood to it and setting it on there. Just make it out of card stock or like I do this little thick thin piece of cardboard that gets sent to me. And it could probably save you a lot of time and energy. Okay. On to the ship. Now. Oh, one other thing. I got my other stand done. Got it made out of oak. Lined it with this felt. And covered it in a clear polyurethane. So my, my uh, final stand is built for the ship. That's it right there. Now, their plans. I'm going to show you this right here. This part right here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put you on hold a minute and I'll be right back. I can hear the phone ringing in the other room and uh, I believe the wife's taking a nap. So I'm going to put you on hold and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, this is the bow of the ship. And uh, there's another picture on another sheet of plans of this bow sprint. Between the two, it, it leaves a lot to be desired to try and figure out where all these cables and, and lines are going up here in the front. And I think I've seen a couple mistakes from what I have seen on the Blue Nose 2. I've seen it, it doesn't look right. So I'm, I'm really not going to go with the plans. I'm going to go with the pictures 
I have seen and I have got off the internet and there's some good pictures out there of photographers that went and took bow shots of the uh, Blue Nose 2 and you can get a real good idea of what's going on up here alright because this very first ring they're showing you up here they're telling you it is a uh, it's got three ears on it but in the pictures of the original of the blue nose 2 there's only two ears so I'm gonna I'm gonna pretty much go with what I seen on the pictures now this part right down here came into question they want you to take two brass strips run them down the side of the ship for these uh, wires to come off of bob stays right yep bob stays two of them alright so I started uh, messing with that and I thought there's got to be I, I can't believe they would be drilling in to the side of the ship for this so I pulled up a picture off the internet and I gotta give this guy credit because I'm gonna be showing you his picture it is morganscloud.com he's the guy that shot this picture and here's a picture of the blue nose too and if you can see right here they don't have a piece of metal running down the side of the ship they're going right into I, I to me it's the cut water or part of the keel whatever you want to call it they're going right in to the center of that they're not tying off on a strip of metal that runs down the side and you would have to do that according to their plans actually one of these on both sides that come together right here <coughs> excuse me so I'm going with this and I'll show you I already done it uh, but they're their plans are just they leave a lot to be desired you're gonna to have to do some research and, and there's plenty of pictures on the internet of the bow of this ship and what she looks like alright so let's get to the ship okay so here we are up to date as far as the uh, ship goes you can see I've got everything painted white on the rails and everything that is to be white right now I've got my uh, little dead eyes in with the chain plate I've got these little I call them cleats one there one there and two up in the bow I got them on and I noticed from some pictures off the internet back here in the back let me tilt it up a little bit this part right here it looked like they had a piece of metal around this opening back here so I went ahead and cut me a piece of aluminum tape and made it fit that opening alright now let me show you my paint job and it's it turned out it started being a paint job to die for let me tell you and then I just start running into problems and I think what happened was the clear that I used was either bad it was a bad batch or a bad can you know them cans sit on them shelves you don't know how long they've been there how old that is or I had a reaction between the clear and the uh, Tamiya paint I was using. So, and, well, here's my problem. I can't touch it. If I touch it, I will leave fingerprints, and it's probably stuck in here right now. And this paint has been drying for well over a week. You can see. I sanded it down and buffed this out. I hand buffed it. And I have got an, a finish there to die for. Now the black's not too bad. It's been drying longer. And I, I might 
I just might let the black go, but the red has to be reshot. Uh, I've got too many problems with it. You can also see I got my rudder on. Okay. And I bought these, and I know there's a name for them. Gunion and Pinion or something like that. I, you know, I'm sorry I don't have my act together here. But I, I ordered these off of ships of, or Age of Sales. I also got those and put those on. And those are super, super high quality hinges. They have a little bushing that fits in each one of these little sections. And then a pin that goes into them two bushings to put this together. Now I did have to notch out my stem post a little bit here to bring that rudder in closer because it was there was too wide of a gap there. I notched it out where the rudder had it notched out a little bit more but I also had to notch it out on here otherwise it was sitting too far apart. But those are super nice hinges. Alright? I mean I'm sitting here looking at this paint job and I can read a paper in it. It's that shiny and smooth. But if I put my finger on it, I will leave a fingerprint. So I'm going to give it a couple more days to dry and see what happens. But I think this red is going to be reshot. I'm going to have to probably do this red again. All right. And that's what's taking me so long. That's why I am behind on doing anything because I couldn't touch this ship for almost two weeks while this trying to figure out what to do about this paint job. And like I said, I come to the conclusion I think it was the clear I was using. Alright, so you can see I've got my dead eyes all in they run through the main rail up here down to the side of the ship and back on the back they run through the monkey rail and the main rail down along the side of the ship and if you remember in one of my earlier videos I backed up the inside of this hull with some wood which allowed me to drill a small hole and then drive these nails in and get good contact all right. Now I for, didn't pay much attention and didn't have a backup piece of wood up here in the front. Let me show you this. See it's getting stuck there. This thing right here. I did manage to get one nail into one of the bulkheads. Okay. So one nail went into a bulkhead and the other nail had to be epoxied in. So I got these two little pieces on and this is just a little brass strip rolled over on the edge over a drill bit with a ring on it. Okay, there's a little ring right there. Got one of these on both sides. Well, there it is. Then I got a little uh, eye bolt up here with a ring on it. Alright. Drilled a little hole into the main rail because there's another eye bolt goes right there. There's another eye bolt goes up here. And then here's those two little things I was talking about. Okay, on the picture that I showed you. How they come out of the uh, this keel. I call it a keel. Right there they are. If they're showing up. See if I can get that to show up for you. Alright, so there's all that stuff. Now you might see, uh, I've, I've got some rubbing compound still in here that needs to be cleaned out, so that's why it might look a little funky. And uh, I've got a little touch up to do here and there on the brass. No big deal, I'll just take a little dab of paint and uh, touch that up but this thing is just it, it, it's been a nightmare with this paint job 
no matter what I done, how I done, how I handled it, I was leaving fingerprints. And when I went to uh, put a piece of tape on here, on this black, so I could tape off the black and paint the red, when I pulled the tape off, and I used super low tack tape, I went through all the tapes I had, find the one that was the less, least tackiest, and I still left a mark where that tape was, so I had to sand and buff that out. Okay, I'm going to interrupt this video right here. I had somebody walking outside the, the window here, and I got the window open, and they can hear me as plain as day, and they look at me like I'm crazy. But uh, I want to talk about this paint job a little bit. But since I zoomed in a little bit more, I want to show you the rudder a little bit better. And then pieces I'm talking about that I bought and how nice they are. Alright, the color. Now before I get comments from guys, here's what I did. I did the black first. Sprayed my paint. Got about four coats of black on there. And between each one I took a hair dryer and dried it a little bit. Put on another coat. When I was done with the black and hit it with the hair dryer for the last time, I let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes, probably 15 minutes. Then I came along and cleared it and did the same thing. Hair dryer, uh, let it sit, another coat. I got about three coats of clear on there. And I did that for both the red and the black. Now, I'm hitting it with a hair dryer when it's all done, trying to get it, you know, so it'll tack up. And I put it in front of a fan. And it's set in front of a fan for hours. And it's a week and a half later. And I can still sometimes, well, I can touch the red. The black is pretty much drying up now. It's taken a week and a half to dry this black. But the red, I'm still getting fingerprints in it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right here is where it was sitting in the stand. See how it's, it's picked that up and right up in here. So it's not dry yet. And that's why I'm holding it like this because if I put my fingers up on here to hold it, I will leave fingerprints in it and then I have to rub it out again. So that's why I'm gonna shoot my red. I'm gonna shoot it again. It's just not 100% right. And you can see it looks a little funky up here. That's some of that rubbing compound that needs to be cleaned out yet. I haven't got it a hundred percent. I know I should have waited till it was all done, but you can see my chain plates in the sides and all these little pieces I got up on the front. Now that I, I zoomed in a little bit better for you. Right here, there. My little cleats and my dead eyes and they keep falling over <laughs> they're supposed to be standing up but they keep falling over alright so let's get on with the rest of the show let's pick it up from from here so that's where we are at so far so let me show you here some of this stuff and why I was doing this just to get me an idea and I'm not sure 100% where this goes But it's something like this. I think that goes there. This goes on top. Uh, like I said, this little thing here will be for my mask. And then one up here. And then this will go around it. This will fit around that now that I ground it down. I had to use my Dremel on that. And then I have to drill two little holes for this. So this will fit in there. And this goes somewhere up here. I'm not sure about all this yet. This is a, a lot of work. And let me tell you something. What they're showing you on one set of the plans and what you get is only about two thirds of what you're going to get is what's on the plans. Uh, there's a little box that's got to be built up here that some of this gear stuff runs into 
Well, on the plans, they show you all them gears inside that box with a flywheel and all that. You don't get none of that because it's inside that box and you won't see it. So this goes up here somehow, you know. So, um, got all this stuff pretty well done. I think this goes right around here. Just guessing at some of this stuff right now. So that's where I'm at. Uh, I think my next thing, I, I'm just going to go ahead and reshoot this red. I'm going to give it a couple more days and I'm going to sand it down real good. Sand off as much of that clear I put on as I could, I can and, uh, and just reshoot it red. And in the meantime, I'm going to start on all this deck furniture. But you can see all these little dead eyes, how they work. Okay. And they, they need to be touched up a little bit from, from handling this and them going back and forth. It's chipped off the paint on that brass. So once I get it all done to the point where they won't be moving around no more, then I can touch them up. But uh, I am so glad that I put that piece of backup wood in there. I would have had a hell of a time getting these on. Because if you would have epoxied them on there, you would have had a hell of a cleanup mess to deal with on all that epoxy. And I got all my blue tack out of there. And I got to clean this up because I was poking through all the holes. So I got to clean this all up. But she's looking, other than the paint job, which you guys probably cannot see <coughs> the mistakes I got in it, she, she looks great. She really does. Um, like I said, if I could have got this paint job to lay down just right, she would have turned out beautiful. But as it is, I got to go through it again and redo it. Now I noticed the more I handle it, the longer time goes on, the less damage I'm doing to it. So it is taking a while for that clear to dry. But there was definitely a problem, I think, in that clear. All right, I don't know how long this is, but I hope you guys hung around for it. And like I said, it'll probably be a while. I'm going to try and do one every week now. If I can do more, I will. But uh, you can see this kind of stuff here is going to take some time. And uh, maybe do some progress reports on, on, on them getting built and stuff like that. Basically, the, the ship is done other than the red. I've got all my fittings on out on the outside of the ship that need to be out there. Yeah, I was looking back there. I thought there was a hook back here, but there's not. So basically, like I said, all the, all the exterior stuff on the ship is there. Just now, it comes to the deck and then the mast and all the rigging okay well thanks for hanging in there and uh, I hope you stick around come back for some more uh, she's getting there I got I got a little frustrated again you know with this paint thing it just you know spending years in the body shop business and then this is what happens to me and uh, but I'll tell you what, there's a finish there. You can, you can see your face in it. It's just a shame that it's doing what it's doing. All right, I'm repeating myself. So, uh, I think that's about it. Okay, how many of you guys were paying attention and caught my little mistake in the beginning of this video or about halfway through? I had a mistake and I was watching my video so I can edit this thing and I thought boy something don't look right there and uh, I caught it and I repaired it now before anybody goes sending me uh, some comments on my mistake I caught it and here it is I was showing you the cabin that I made out of cardboard 
I had the uh, the hatchway on the wrong side. I had the hatchway up here. Well, I corrected it and put it back here where it goes. So here's kind of what the ship's going to look like with all this stuff on here. Once I get it all done. And this is basically the reason why I did this. I'm not sure where that goes. I know it's up there somewhere. But this is basically why I've done all this, made this um, made this mock-up so I could get an idea of of the scale of stuff. That goes there. This is something like this. There has to be two holes, like I said, I don't know if I said that, two holes have to be drilled to put that in there. I believe this goes up on the step. Uh, and this goes up here somewhere, uh, I think up around here, I'm not sure. But uh, there's kind of an idea of what she's going to look like once, once I get all this stuff made. So I'm waiting for this other part to come in for my winch. And I can start, you know, getting some of this on here, but I got to get this red painted first. I got, I got to do that. I'm, I'm gonna have to reshoot that red. So that's pretty much it. And it's a shame, you know. Like I said, I, I it, that that paint job came out beautiful, just that you cannot handle it. The longer, you know, it's been two weeks. Now, two weeks for paint to dry ain't right. But something happened. I, and I, like I said, it was in that clear. Something happened. Okay. So I think that's going to be it. And uh, like I said, uh, it, it, it might be uh, once a week now before you get a video. Uh, I might show you me building some of this furniture and how it turns out. Because the reason I did this is because there's a little bit of a curve in, in the deck of the ship. And I wanted to see how this fit. And I can see I'm going to have to get a little arch in there. And it's very slight. But this was a nice little idea. Uh, I don't know, probably other guys have done it. I haven't seen it. But to give you an idea of, of what scale is going to be once again I'm repeating myself but also to give you a size of the patterns and, and what they're going to look like and you can work off of these little pieces build my little things match them up against this to see how they fit and then put them together okay well I don't want to keep babbling on but I think that's about it and now that I'm a little closer with the camera Maybe you could see some of this stuff. Everything's falling off the ship. Okay. Alright. I think that's it. Enough's enough.